Beardo Benjo. I had planned to make a Sam and Max This Time It's Virtual video yesterday. I wanted to get a video out so people could watch it the day before release and then start to form some opinions about whether they wanted to spend their money on it come today. That didn't work out because I wanted to spend more time with the game. So last night I sat in there for about two and a half hours playing it. I've pretty much got right to the end and now I feel like I'm ready to share my opinions on the game and tell you whether it's worth your time or not. Now Sam and Max hasn't had a new game since 2010 I believe, I think The Devil's Playhouse was the last release which was created by the now defunct Telltale Games. Before that it was LucasArts who made the classic point and click adventures. Now Sam and Max for me has always been about parodying pop culture, lampooning films, TV, music, games, comics, whatever they can get their hands on, nothing is off limits. The writing has always been witty, and it's always been something that children can laugh at on face value because it's funny, but then there's a deeper level, a double entendre, an innuendo that adults can laugh at and appreciate, and some of the references might go over the heads of children. So Sam and Max This Time It's Virtual brings the, the duo back, puts them into VR, and I went in not really knowing what to expect. Is this game for children? Or is this game for adults? Or is it for everyone, like the older games were? Well, I think I've got a verdict. I'm gonna share some gameplay with you now and speak about how good I think this game is and whether it's worth your money. Please enjoy the gameplay. This is Sam and Max, this time it's virtual. This releases on Oculus Quest Store today. And I'm actually not sure how much it costs. But it's out today, and this is what I think of it. Before we get going, I almost forgot. Next week, I'm going to Scotland to visit some family. I'm very, very excited. But that does mean I'm extending the entry period for my Beardo's Big Beardy Art Fest competition. If you want to take part, draw a piece of fan art, something to do with me or something to do with the channel, send it to the email address behind me, and I will be picking my favorites, making a little video about them, showcasing them, and the very best one, the one that I love the most, I'll buy you any Quest or Steam VR game of your choosing, and then the runners up, I'll send you some free VR codes I've got laying around in my big box of mystery codes. Please send some artwork through. I've had some amazing ones already, but I would love some more. Let's get on with Sam and Max. Take it away. Oh yeah, happy giant. Now this is probably my favorite part of the game, unironically. Just this intro. This bit. Look how cool that is. Wow! Like that's... That's great, right? I like that. I don't know why I'm so big though. Why am I so big? Why am I standing up in the car? That's a really bad idea. Hi guys. You alright? <laughs> Can I just... Start my game, please? Why am I so big? Alright everyone, welcome to Sam and Max. This time it's virtual. Now... Let me give you a little walkthrough about what this game actually is, I guess. Um, so, I was kind of anticipating this to be similar to the old point-and-click Sam and Max adventures. So, I'd go around, I'd solve crimes with these guys, try and find clues. Um, I think that could really work in a VR sense, um, in terms of VR gameplay mechanics. I think a point-and-click puzzle-solving game would work really well. Or convert the whole thing into like an escape room style experience but that's that's not what they did um what they actually did was turn sam and max or at least the the, the vr version into kind of a kind of a job simulator-esque wacky mini game style thing and i'm not sure if i love it if I'm completely honest with you. Now, the game plays out across an intro, where you basically, the intro is basically this. You come in here, you throw some stuff at the dartboard, you come into the cupboard over here and shoot some, shoot some cockroaches. Take that, you cockroach. Yeah, you're, you're dead. Can I shoot? He doesn't seem phased by that. Sam, mate, I've just shot you in the face many times. You should at least flinch. Um, and then you have to come in here and you have to make a corn dog for 
for Max, because Max is hungry for corn dogs, so you set that to that and you do a bit of that. Da, 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 da. That actually is. Is that real seconds? Real 20 seconds? That's quick. There you go, corn dogs ready, and you feed that to, to Max, and he's like, oh, thanks, pal. But he won't care now because I've already done that bit. So. The intro of the game is basically just in this office, you get to grips with the mechanics. Then the game itself is, you're basically playing as a trainee, you're trying to join the freelance detective agency, and you have to train by going to a kind of an old abandoned theme park or carnival, and you play through mini-games. So every time you play three mini-games, you then have to do kind of like a mission, like a bit of a a detective mission. Something's happening, you have to go there and solve it and, and, and solve the crime or defeat the enemy. So it's broken down into basically these three acts. You've got three mini games, one mission, three mini games, one mission, three mini games, one mission, and then the end, which is where I'm at. Yeah. The game actually reminds me a lot, and this this isn't the nicest comparison. <laughs> the game actually reminds me a lot of Carnival games. Do you remember Carnival games on the Wii or the VR version? Why is that axe flying around? What's going on here? Oh, I don't like that. My hands are freaking out. Well, they're not now. Um, yeah, it reminds me a lot of Carnival games on the the Wii. Um, and I'll show you why. Let's go to the park. I'll show you what the mini games are like. All right. So the bulk of your time spent playing this game is spent here in this kind of old abandoned carnival on like a boardwalk somewhere. Um, you'll notice also that I have black skeleton hands. Now that's, that's probably, again, one of my favorite things in the game is you can, <laughs> so lame, I don't know why I love it so much. You can change your hands, so you can have skeleton hands, you can have gal hands and guy hands. Now I don't know what the distinction is there, like guy hands are just kind of fat and, and gal hands are kind of thin, but you know, skeletons are kind of the way forward. We'll go with white skeleton hands. Um, so yeah, you spend most of your time in the game here, on this boardwalk, and you're just playing a series of mini games. Now, the, the, some of the mini games are, are great fun, and others are really drab and really, really not fun. So let me show you some. I think this is an obstacle course. So three of the mini games are obstacle courses, and they're not great. Let me let me jump into one. Hi guys. I mean, Sam and Max themselves look brilliant in here, um, and they have had a few cool dialogue moments that have made me chuckle. But on the whole, the writing feels a bit flat as well, but I'll, I'll get to that later. Let's show you one of these mini games. So this one is an obstacle course. Each station on this course is designed to test your glutes, abs, pecs, traps, and zeds. I'm ready. I'll tell you what you need to do as you go. Do some ready? squats. I'm ready, yeah. Set, go, run! Cool. So obstacle course, right? You'd think that would be really kind of action-packed and fun, but they're actually... First, they're not great, the so... Ooh, oh, I've got hit. That wasn't great. So right now, I can't actually move. I'm just on a thing, and I'm just dodging stuff. <laughs> so... Just stand here and dodge these. Yeah, okay, alright. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, now I can get off. Bit of climbing. Okay, that's fairly straightforward. Now throw these okay. balls at the targets, a freelance Will do. Needs to have a keen sense of throwing accuracy. Terrible. Because, uh, you know, that comes up from time to time. Just a little outside. Ugh. Sure, you don't need some therapeutic eyewear. Maybe a See what I mean suit? about carnival oh, games? There's a lot of throwing things at other things in this game. Please it's probably 50% of the gameplay mechanics. Nice arm, Mini Rivera. Nice throw. Yay! And I'll take these balls with me, yeah? Alright, thanks. One for each of you. Climb! Climb like the wind! <laughs> Ready for the next one? <laughs> I hate you both so much. Okay, up we go. Grab and I grab onto this. Whee! 
Oh, so even that, like that doesn't feel like I'm moving fast, doesn't feel like I'm high up. I'm just, <laughs> just slowly oh, sliding oh, down. Wee! Oh look, more throwing things. And your preconceptions about my force. I cut down. Yes, the combination of alcohol and throwing sharp objects is truly one of mankind's greatest achievements. Oh, you popped the balloon with a pointy thing! Now Sam and Max do talk an awful lot. <laughs> don't be afraid to pop the balloons. We're ninety percent positive they don't feel any pain, which is not bad, kid. Up we go, up we go. Hi guys. Now what are we doing? The hook and hold on to it like it's your lost innocence. Okay. Wee. <laughs> well, they seem pleased. I think I'm supposed to pop these balloons here. Uh, uh. With my spiky skeleton finger. Hey. Oh look, throwing things. Is a dangerous but hilarious part of the job. We seem to get one in the mail almost every week. Come. On. All right. I haven't yes. Seen cold since Nanook of the North. Why did that not count? Whenever I play basketball, it I went through. Weeks. Thank you. Oh. Ring the bell. No pressure, loser. Easy. Don't repeat that same line again. Good run, kid. Good job. Wait for us outside while I wipe down the equipment with Max's fur. And that's it. That's an obstacle course. And there's three of those. Five years and call me Missy. <laughs> you passed. Thanks. Missy is easily impressed. Thanks, guys. And then you get a little report card. So. You'll see that I've done all of these uh, mini games. Now, these mini games are the bulk of the gameplay. Um, so there's nine of them, and that they're probably gonna that's gonna, gonna be where you spend most of your time in this game. Three of the nine are obstacle courses, almost identical to that one. Grab something, slide along, climb a wall, throw some things. So three of the nine aren't great because they are those obstacle courses. Now I alluded to it in there while I was doing that, but I. <laughs> I'm struggling to figure out who this game's for because the simplicity of it feels very childish. Like the actual gameplay is very is very geared towards kids. It's simple VR mechanics: throwing, climbing, um, and a and a light element of kind of escape room puzzle solving. Hello. Okay. Um, but the writing in places is kind of still geared towards. Adults, that so that statue of Dr. Dills is a little too lifelike, Sam. Legend yeah. has it that Duncan's indomitable spirit is trapped inside his statue, weeping as his empire slowly rots into the ocean. <laughs> they just talk so much. Um, so the writing is still very much geared towards pop culture references and things that I don't think a lot of kids would necessarily understand. So, where I don't think adults would enjoy actually playing this, the actual gameplay mechanic. Is, is kind of boring. Uh, I found myself bored most of the time. Kids would enjoy the gameplay mechanic, but they wouldn't necessarily get the right... Ah, it's, it's a weird one. Let me show you a couple more mini-games. Um, Fizzball's probably one of the better mini-games. Right, so, Fizzball. Really yeah, I do. This is, this is genuinely one of my favourite uh, mini-games. It's just baseball. Um, <laughs> but they throw cans. Again, it's quite simple, like, don't expect any kind of reinvention of the wheel with any of these minigames. That's a home run. Stupid little... Why has he got a Jason mask on? Oh, no, foul. So, like, this this is fun, but again, this is, this is all of the game, basically, you know? These mini games. And the can spins madly between the first and second baseman. Neither of them wants get. anything to do with it. <laughs> Mark it down as a double. There we go. Now the mini games aren't particularly difficult either. I mean, like you don't necessarily need to get a certain score to beat them. Um, ooh, you you can just absolutely fail, get an F on that little report card, and you can still then progress to the next mission. So there's no real need to perform. 
and a drunken argument and but I guess they're and center fielders allowing the batter to slide safely into third base honestly talk so much they're created with the intention to, to that you'd play them over and over again but I really don't think I would play many of these more than once maybe twice maybe twice I'm being so negative about this game I, I just don't know who it's for and I do wish it was better that was terrible that's beer Sam okay you know the drill Shoot lots of things, score points. It's so easy, even a four-fingered rabbity thing could do it. Thank you. So this is another one of the mini games. Um, and again, I'd say this is one of the better ones. Because this was built in Australia, where 95% of the fauna would just as soon kill you as look at you. They would. Lots of tarantulas there. This one is just a shooting gallery, so really, really straightforward stuff. Um, oh, I thought there was one up there. But, like, it doesn't feel like... It feels like a VR game that should have released years ago when people kind of didn't really know what to do with VR, so it was all... It was all, like, carnival games. It was all throwing stuff. It was shooting, pop-up things, targets. We can do more with VR now, and I think a Sam and Max game in VR, in theory, could be really, really good, you know? Going around solving crimes. Basically, like, a big escape room convert that point and click gameplay into a VR game just straight up and you'd have something really cool but what they've opted for is just a series of really strange not particularly well polished mini games and they're very hit and miss shoot 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 in targets all day long oh there's a new place Graveyard full of zombies. And I could use the other monstrous and therefore socially acceptable targets. I hate it when the dead don't stay on their side of the van. Don't make me shoot you, Sam. I don't think you even have to use this. No, you don't. I, oh, you know what? You deserve to get shot. Way to clear out those deadites with your boomstick, kid. I'm not using a boomstick, and that's an evil dead reference. Children won't get that. See what I mean? I don't. There's references in here to Evil Dead, there's references in here to The Shining, and kids won't get them, but then are adults going to stick around for this gameplay loop? Probably not. Maybe it's the kind of game that you would play with the family watching, kids playing, mum and dad watching, they get the references, but the kid enjoys the shooting and the, and the bright colours. I don't know, I'm, not, I'm just not sure what the target audience is. All right, I'm looking at these mini games now and trying to remember which ones are like good. Now, Circle of Carnage, that was the uh, shooting gallery. Fizzball is the baseball. Voyage of Pain, Tunnel of Tough Love, and No Fun House are all obstacle courses, and they're basically the same. Uh, Get a Clue is probably one. Of, that probably is the best mini game. That one is actually an escape room, but it's very short. You have to find three keys. If I show you that, you'll you'll immediately know how to do it, and then. I, you know what? I'm going to show you. If you don't want to watch it, don't watch it. If you're going to buy this game, then cool. Uh, this is the this is genuinely the best mini game. You know, Max, only about twenty percent of our job involves slapping the bows of virtue with the spiky leather gloves of justice. Yeah. The other ninety percent is just good old fashioned clue gathering and problem solving. That's the best bit of your job. Uh, we've locked you here in the park's old security center and hidden clues all over the place. The goal is to find the three hidden keys. You'll be judged on how fast you escape. Uh huh. Also on your evening gown. I'm gonna get out three very quickly. Keys will be hidden within three deceptively innocent receptacles. Okay. Uh, Let's do it. Greta Thunberg. What a weird reference. The, uh, it's such a weird reference. Anyway? Most okay. Oh, I honestly think I this is the best mini game. If the game was more of this, like little escape room style experiences they'd be on to an absolute winner but they opted for this weird throwing stuff and shooting things mini game um, setup and it, it, it just yeah I don't know who it's for All right. go in here open this in we go a corn dog take that pop that in there Remember that from the start? Well, it come back round. We've got to do another corn dog. <laughs> and there's a key in the corn. Who would have thought it? That's crazy. The other thing, the game that I really don't like is the turning speed. Look at that turning speed. That is painful. Ah. <laughs> and I've got the movement speeds all set to the highest, so it's not like I'm missing a setting. 
Come here, you. Five, two, three. Okay. A G D F. A G D F. Come here, you. A. Come on, G. Uh, D. Is it D? D. Come, come on, F. What is that? Can I smash it? Oh, I sucked the lolly and it turned into a key. That was different. So, so this, this little escape room bit is procedural to a degree because these are different puzzles than what I had to solve before. But still, I wish there was more of this. 305, because this is cool, but this is the only bit like this really in the game. I'll show you one of the actual missions, then I'll wrap up. Um, come on, out the way. Right, what did we say? It was five something something? Five, two, three. Five, two, three. Beep, beep, beep. Oh. Why won't you break? Break. Thank you. I've done it. I've solved the escape room. Oh. How long did that take me? Two minutes, 36. That's not bad. Pretty good, huh? Huh? Well, you're not talking now. Now that I've completed it, you've gone quiet. Oh, there we go. We're done. <sighs> That's the best mini game, I'd say. I, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed. Um, I really want this to be good, but I, I don't. For me, I, I don't enjoy the actual gameplay loop. I think it's super simplistic, um, and I think for humor-driven story driven VR experiences there are better ones job simulator, vacation simulator Trover, um, virtual virtual reality uh, accounting plus uh, floor plan 2 <laughs> you know there are games that have done this kind of thing a lot better and I think Sam and Max would be far better suited to an expansive escape room style game where a bit more like floor plan, I guess, where it's a little bit more of a thinker, a little bit more witty. The writing as well does fall flat quite a lot. I haven't laughed much, if at all, in the game. Um, I've laughed at the broken mechanics a few times, but that's the wrong kind of laughter. Never fear, citizens. The freelance police are here to resolve your paranormal crisis. We're here. Yeah, we all three of us. One. That's uh, great, I guess. Yep. The demon's over in aisle two. A demon? Max. Head back to the manager's office to interview that panicked grocery worker. On it. The cadet and I go, will go, have a go. look around and see what we can do to send this Stygian refugee will he actually back go to through their the door? appropriate infernal hellscape. He does actually go through the door. That's cool. Well, what do nice. you know? Hey, he's not walking. Yes, he's walking now. All right, Mrs. Uh, Hello. That demon eats like Max. I can hear you, Sam. <laughs> Maybe we can feed it something that disagrees with it, with let's, extreme prejudice. Let's do that. So these little detective missions are, again, basically like little escape rooms. You need to figure out how to solve the problems by just trial and error. Now, in here you can interact with most things. Um, I can get a lolly and I can be like, take this, you stupid demon. And then he's annoyed and he throws a beer at me, which is cool. Um, but you can't interact with everything. So, like, I can't grab this lemon. And you can see what you can't interact with because the... You know, the resolution and textures are so low on these items. But I can get that. Um, and I can get these. But it's, it feels a bit flat. Right, so this particular monster. I like what you're thinking. Shake up some Dr. Pepper. Oi, come on. Open your mouth. Do a big scream. Come on. Come on. There you go. Eat this. Good throw, kid. Let's <sighs> a few binding words to seal the deal. Go on then. Oh, Atomo Siam. Oh, Atomo Siam. Yahtzee. Brilliant. That's Yahtzee. That's what you get for disturbing our neighborhood food oasis. Good oh, job. This oh, there's another all the demon. Oh, there's another demon. Can get its claws on. <laughs> Tell me the exits are okay, Sam. No promises, Max. Maybe we can make things too hot for it. 
genius. Burrito. So, yeah. Okay. So Sam and Max feed you the clues. Um, so these escape room type experiences aren't aren't particularly difficult. So Sam obviously just said, "Let's make something too hot for it," because this demon's going back and forth eating all the ice lollies. And then immediately Max is like, "Oh, grab me a burrito." And there's some burritos, and they have spicy written on them here, and he referenced them being spicy. So then you need to get a burrito. Yeah. Heat it up in there. Just 20 seconds. That's all you need. Tuned detective skills tell me that these burritos may prove useful. Oh, they will. Yeah. Oh, that thing's given off more heat than a 1981 era Kathleen Turner. That's ready. Spend the next three hours staring at your own pew. 1981 era Kathleen Turner. If I didn't know better, I'd think that burrito on a stick was a particularly ugly popsicle. I think you're onto something, kid. So then the burrito goes in there. He comes along and he's like, "This is a lolly." He eats it. It ain't a lolly, and he dies. Go on. Yeah, Look, delicious. Hot oh, dang! Hot so damn! Cinnamon, cinnamon, baby. I. Uh, all in all, I'd say Sam and Max. Sadly, I, I, certainly, I I wouldn't buy it personally. Um, it, it just doesn't do enough to to warrant me wanting to play this as an adult. Now. I do enjoy kind of cartoony comic book themed games. I've played tons of them because the gameplay loop and the gameplay mechanic is interesting and the writing's good. Here, I think the writing falls flat and I think the mini games just aren't interesting. Most of the time you're just standing static, just pushing the stick forward. There's no real interactivity. You're not really moving around or doing much. It feels, again, a little bit like lazy VR. Not lazy like Tarzan was lazy, but certainly a missed opportunity. Um, with some very kind of outdated VR minigame mechanics. Sam and Max, I don't know who it's for. The writing is still quite adult in ways. They reference things that kids wouldn't know about. But the gameplay loop, I just don't see many, if any, adults loving what's on display here. So if it's something you're thinking of picking up for the kids, there are, in my opinion, better kids VR games. Curious Tale of the Stolen Pets, um, as I said before, Job Simulator, Vacation Simulator, Trover. Trover's a bit more edgy, a bit more adult, but it's very funny and it's a very good game. Moss, you know, um, if you're looking for something that kids can jump into and just interact with the environments, Job Simulator and Vacation Simulator just absolutely obliterate this. They do the same kind of thing, but the level of polish and quality is so much higher. Um, yeah, Sam and Max. It's a shame. This is a bit of a negative video for me, but I'm starting to just get annoyed, I think, at the squandered opportunities and the squandered potential of so many VR games. This could have been good. I just don't think they knew what to do with Sam and Max in a VR environment. Big, expansive escape room experiences. That's what it needed to be. Go around the city, solving crimes, looking for clues, getting into capers. Not weird mini games at an old abandoned carnival. Such a shame. This is Sam and Max. It's out today. If you do like the look of it, then obviously you can go and get it now. But I just think there are better alternatives out there if you're looking for this kind of game. Hope you enjoy, guys. I will see you soon for another one. I'll be back tomorrow with Lies Beneath. Um, let's get that die. Let's get that finished, and uh, and then yeah, I'll see you next week for more VR randomness take care of yourselves goodbye sam and max i hope i never see you again or at least when i next see you you come back with some some more substantial content please that would be great thanks i quit i quit the bloody freelance police academy oh shit i can't leave oh i'm stuck here forever what a bad place to be stuck <laughs>